Hi, this is Nick from Candlewell, coming at you from our office in Vaughan, Ontario. Uh, today's video is going to be about another stud welder. Some of you guys might remember we did a video with a larger stud welder called the 101 a few weeks ago. Today we're going to be checking out the 81. So we got some quarter inch thick here steel, we got our ground clamps connected here and here, and we got some steel studs that we're going to try to secure to this. So you can see I've done a few practice touches already, we've got the machine roughly set in. But without doing that, you can always follow this chart on the front. So we know we're doing quarter inch thick. We know we're doing steel. It's telling me that we should be at 135. Right now we're at 134, so that should be just fine. So what you're gonna wanna do is take your contact gun and it's got a collet in the front of it here. So you can use different types of studs, different lengths, different thicknesses. The one we have today is made it for this. So we're gonna take it, insert it in the front, it's important that your gun is in between your two ground clamps so that the current can go all the way across and you get a nice good weld. Now, this is gonna blow a little bit of sparks and make a little bit of noise. You don't need to be wearing a leather jacket and leather gloves, but you do always wanna have your eye protection on. So I'm gonna line this up. We're gonna count down from three and we're gonna see what kind of a job this does. Okay, so I wanna be as flat as possible. One, two, Now we pull it off, very little heat. And let's see if this is strong. So this is the center one we just put on. Let's grab it with some vice grips and see if this is adequately welded for us to put a nut on or put some weight on it or whatever. Oh yeah. As you guys can see, the stud itself is actually feeling like it's going to break before the weld actually does. So that's pretty awesome. That's something that you can use if you need to uh, fasten bolts all over your project and you don't want it to be marred on the back and you don't want to be messing around putting a weld around the bottom of every single one. You can use a stud welder like this and you can just bang them on very quickly. Pretty cool. Uh, for certain types of production shops, I think that would be a very invaluable tool. It would save you a lot of hand welding over and over and over. So thanks a lot for watching everybody. Uh, don't forget that you can subscribe down below by hitting the subscribe button. Please give us a like and don't forget to put your questions, comments, anything you want in the, the comment section below. We will be checking it out and trying to include that in our content. So thanks again, stay safe out there and have a lot of fun.